To see more videos subscribe our channel. Watch this video till end for better understanding. We will design a horizontal pressure vessel today. First step of design is to set datum for vessel. We will design shell of vessel by selecting shell from toolbar. In design dialog window, we will see part name. After selecting material, we will put design values for internal pressure and internal design temperature. External design values are zero while inner corrosion allowance is 1 mm. Radiography for longitudinal and circumferential seams will be full. For internal diameter of vessel, design thickness is 21.98 mm. Nominal is 22 mm. Impact testing and PWHT is code requirements for this material. Length of shell is 2500 mm as per provided plate size. Shell and heads material shall be impact tested and PWHT will be performed for whole vessel. You can see that impact testing and PWHT has been selected automatically against design conditions and material. There is less chance of error for not selecting these requirements. From long seam wizard, staggerance for long seams is selected. It is selected so in a way that no nozzle is placed at seam. By changing default plate size to available. Adding values to starting angle and seam staggered by, we will reset the values to get updated one angles for seam. To complete the required length of vessel, we will need to add more shells which will be added to vessel by just copy data from previous and add the shells simply. We will repeat this procedure until we get our desired length. In our case we needed to add 6 shells. These shells are designed as per UG27. You shall read this paragraph for more details. Watch this video till end to see the hemispherical heads design. For hemispherical heads, same design data is used to design. Thickness of hemi heads is mostly half of design thickness for shell. Nominal thickness for heads is 12 mm. You can also send us your inquiries at asme.pvdesigner at gmail.com or tell us in comments.